portion 29, a student used a setup similar to the one shown below to prepare sodium sulfate. The sodium sulfate crystals collected at the end were tinted orange. So which of the following mistakes could the student have made during the preparation of sodium sulfate? So this is under salt prep. Okay. Uh, just a recap, there are three methods of salt prep that you need to know. First one is precipitation. Second is excess. And the third one is titration method. So when do we use um, which method? Precipitation, right? It is used to produce insoluble salts. For excess method, it is used to produce soluble non-A1 salt. So what do A1 stand for? The A stands for ammonium compounds. And the 1 stands for group 1 compounds. So any soluble salt that is not ammonium, not group one compound, we use excess. Then for titration, right, it is used to produce soluble A1 salt. So any, any group one or any ammonium compound, we use titration method. So in this case, sodium sulfate Na2SO4, this is a group one compound because sodium. So we are using the titration method, which is what you see in the diagram. So over here, you have your acid inside your burette and you have your conical flask filled with alkali and the indicator. What is the purpose of adding in the indicator, right? It is to know when is the end point, okay, to indicate end point when neutralization occurs. How do we tell this endpoint is reached by a sharp, distinct color change? So how we conduct titration experiment? Okay, first one is after adding in the indicator, we set up this diagram, right? We are going to add the acid from the burette drop by drop. Okay, swirling after each drop. Then after that, okay, um, the moment indicator changes color, we stop the titration and record down the volume of acid that is required, that is used um, to fully neutralize the alkali. Then we are going to repeat the experiment. Okay, but this time without adding in indicator. Okay, and we are using the same volume of acid that um, we have recorded down previously. So one is the purpose of not adding in indicator, right? Um, it is to prevent contamination of sodium sulfate. So the mistake that the student have made during this preparation is that he did not repeat the titration without adding in the indicator. So he, he used the first experiment whereby he added in the indicator. That's why the crystals that were collected, right? It was tinted orange with the indicator. So this is not a pure sodium uh, sulfate crystal. It is a contaminated one. So answer for question 29 is option C.